Well, thank you very much uh, for coming uh, to our embassy. Uh, I would like to start by saying that we appreciate highly that Mongolia the Step uh, channel uh, accompany us during this interview and, and we're very glad that have you here and we will try to to make an, uh, an, uh, good explanation on, 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 on what is Cuba and wha what is the relation with Mongolia uh, during those years uh, 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 for the interview. Thank you very much for coming and it's my pleasure. So uh, regarding with the relation between Cuba and Mongolia before we have been established uh, and a diplomatic relation, I think uh, we didn't have um, quite too many visits before that period. Uh, Mongolia was kind of an unknown place for Cuba before that. And, and this, despite, I mean, the great history, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't have any record, we don't have any record here for, for that period. But um, diplomatic relation started in, in uh, was signed between the both countries on December the 7th, 1960. So it was the first moment uh, when the two countries established diplomatic relation and, and it was the first country in Latin America that Mongolia established a diplomatic relation. So we are very proud of that and since that uh, almost 59 years uh, we have been achieved and a great uh, friendship and a very warm relation between the two both countries. So um, um, I don't have any record or the, uh, either. So about about uh, who was the first uh, uh, ambassador from Cuba here? I think at that time, um, even though we signed in a relation in 1960, the embassies were open in 1970 after the visit in May of the, our um, second secretary of the party at that time and minister of, of, of defense, uh, Raul Castro Ruz, who visited Mongolia in, in 1970. And it was an, a great and very nice visit at that time. After that, we opened an, uh, an embassy here in Mongolia. Uh, and, and, and from that until now, we, we have been working together as a, as a very, very close countries uh, between our people too, okay? So um, next year, uh, we're going to accomplish on the um, 60th anniversary of the relation, which is an, a great moment. And we have been planning uh, several activities for ne next year to commemorate that very big uh, uh, number. A uh, 60 year of the relation, not only on the and the economic or, 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 or commercial field, but very close on the political and the, and the friendship uh, relation between the two countries. So 60 years are, are, are showing that despite we are very far one country from the, from the other, uh, we, we can have, uh, an, um, we, we, we have been able to achieve an, a very good relation and a very warm, uh, ties between the both countries. Okay, before I come into Mongolia, um, I was, uh, an, uh, the, the, the opinion and, and what I know from Mongolia was, um, let's say the standard knowledge on the school. So a, any student or any person in Cuba had about Mongolia, about the great history of the, of the empire and, and, and the stories about Genghis Khan and, and that's it. But I, 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 I didn't have quite information about, uh, I mean, how was the life here in Mongolia? And I started a little bit about that before, before I come in. But I mean, also the reality, it's more rich than, than anything. And it was uh, very, um, very uh, glad for me to, to see, I mean, how beautiful is this country and how beautiful are the landscape and the people and, and the heritage that this country has. Uh, 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 despite the distance and, 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 and despite the so huge territory that Mongolia has. So um, I see Mongolia as a an, um, an, uh, an, uh, great country and, and full of, of, of good, uh, good uh, experience and, and, and knowledge 
very old knowledge that um, we should not have lost during the time and we should pass those knowledge to the new generations. I, I see Mongolia as a beautiful country full of resources and full of potential for uh, um, grow and, and, and for develop and a great economy and, and a great um, a future for his people. That's the way that I see Mongolia and I'm very glad to, to have been discovered this uh, 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 during my, my, my stay here in Mongolia these three years. Um, yes, you're right, and, and uh, Cuba has been um, sending uh, our support and collaboration to Mongolia since 1960. From the very beginning of the revolution, we have been offered to Mongolia scholarship to go to Cuba to study. And from that until now, more than 168 students have been graduated in Cuba in different, different uh, uh, careers and, 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 and they are, have become a very useful people and, and, and very successful people here in Mongolia because of that studies in Cuba, especially on the areas of stomatology, medicine, law, agriculture, veterinary, education, sports, many, many other uh, careers that they have been studied in Cuba. Uh, right now, are more than 16 uh, students in Cuba studying medicine, kids, uh, in different uh, years. And, and, and every year we offer in Mongolia around three, four scholarships to go to Cuba to study for free to those kids. And we are very glad to have been supporting Mongolia in this area. We, I mean, we have been working very hard in different sectors in the, uh, uh, with the authorities and institutions in Mongolia. I think that uh, um, the most uh, successful right now and the one that we have been achieved more, more steps, it's on the medicine, the health care and the uh, biotechnology products here in Mongolia. We have been introducing an, a Cuban good uh, biotechnology pharmaceutical products that uh, they combat several very bad diseases uh, that was still uh, Mongolian population suffering as uh, diabetics, uh, as a cancer, as a uh, hepatitis. So we have been working with those uh, pharmaceutical authorities and, and companies to try to introduce a Cuban um, products and Cuban methodology and Cuban um, doctors and, and ways to cure that can help Mongolians to, to eliminate or at least to get down those diseases in Mongolia. I think, I think this is the most prominent sectors uh, in, in which we, we, we can go more fast, but that there, there are many others that we can work in as a, an education sector, sports and uh, sport issues, and, and, and also in the tourist industry, for example, we, we, can, we can work together and, uh, uh, as well. Uh, yeah, we have been introducing uh, already one very good product uh, against the um, hepatitis B, I'm sorry, and uh, diabetes foot ulcera. This product is a, it's a to uh, cure one of the uh, consequences of the half and diabetic. So this is a, a one of the products that uh, we use in, in Cuba, and it's against a, a diabetic foot ulcera. Those patients that suffer in diabetes, they used to uh, um, suffering also for the consequences of that, which is ulcers in the feet. So with this product, and and and, and you you can uh, evo avoid amputation on the feet of the diabetic people. So I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that we, we have been able to register that product and we now it's available for the Minister of Health and the other hospital here to cure Mongolians. Yes, you're right. Uh, Cuba is uh, uh, one of the most illiteracy, I mean, sorry, um, yes, literacy uh, population in, in, in Latin America. We achieved that uh, uh, Soon as 1961, when, when we make a, a, a national campaign, I mean, by the idea of Fidel Castro and, and one of the one of the programs of the revolution at the beginning was the campaign of um, illiteracy in Cuba. 
that um, cover 100% uh, of the areas in the country and was allowed to people to uh, know how to read and, and write in Cuba at that time. So from that until now, our education system has been able to achieve uh, more than 76,000 uh, uh, graduations on, on medicine, for example. We have more than 70, 76,000 doctors graduated in Cuba and, and more than one million people that has an, a, an, a, an, a high degree on the university uh, studies. So um, this is an, a huge effort for the revolution and, and for the Minister of Education in Cuba, which, by the way, is uh, one of the um, free and universal rights that the Cuban has uh, also uh, with the uh, healthcare system. But uh, education has been able to um, provide to the Cubans all the uh, uh, knowledge and, 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 and careers that uh, you have been able to study in Cuba when, 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 when you were born in Cuba. So saying that, um, uh, let me clarify that mm, that is not, uh, that is not an, any uh, charge or, or, or nothing like that to study in Cuba. Uh, education in Cuba is for free and, and, and also for those countries that as Mongolia, we have been able to receive Mongolian kids in, in Cuba for studying uh, university careers. They don't have to pay nothing. It's an, um, a way to collaborate. It's the way to offer our help to the Mongolian people through education. So, <clears throat> yes, Cuba is also an, a leader on the pharmaceutical industry. Despite the blockade of the United States against Cuba for more than 59 years, a uh, blockade that uh, struggle uh, economy and, and, and the people in Cuba, we have been able to develop our, our pharmaceutical industry to taking care of our people and to combat many diseases that uh, we already have been able to eradicate in Cuba through our scientists' work, uh, through our uh, uh, healthcare uh, sector, uh, uh, doctors and, and nurses in Cuba, they have been working very hard for that, and 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 we, this is one of of the of the most humanitarian and and and, and job that we are, are are accomplished during the time of the revolution. These uh, 59 years. Yes, uh, Cuba is uh, one of um, of of the countries that we are not selling Coca-Cola and and and. and not mm, and because that was one of the uh, industries and, or let's say one of the uh, American companies that we nationalized when when the triumph of the revolution, and not because of that um, we have been uh, having the health in our people, but because of we have been promoting and a, and a more um, clean and more. Uh, let's say a good way of, of, of living as uh, taking the good um, food and, and the more em environmental uh, things that have been able to um, achieve uh, our li life expectancy more than 81 years women's and, and, and 80 years uh, the, the men's. So the, just promoting education on, on the health and promoting education on, on the good way to, to feed uh, is, is the way that you can achieve that. Uh, uh, our Minister of Health have been working very hard on that and, and that's the result of that. Хүүг бол дэлхийн хамгийн том нийтлэлийн ордыг эзэмшдэгээ. Энэ уул уурхайн ашиг орлогоос аэрэгдээ хэрхэн хүртээдэг вэ? Нийгмийн асуудалд нь анхаарч хүрэнг оруулт хэдгүү? Yes, uh, Nickel is one of our resources uh, in Cuba. Uh, we have uh, been ex extracting nickel uh, for many years right now with uh, some of the, our partners, commercial, I mean, business partners in the world, in that case with the Canadians. But um, uh, I think in the case of Mongolia, of course, we have the opportunities to work together on that and uh, we have been promoting with the mining industry here in Mongolia and with the minor businessmen here in Mongolia, the opportunities for that in Cuba, especially in the in the nickel uh, in the nickel uh, factory and extractions fields that we have in Cuba, 
and 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 we have been able to send few businessmen of Mongolia to Cuba for for trying to explore the opportunities on that. We we have been receiving um, every year. Uh, we have been growing uh, on the tourist industry every year and receiving. Uh, many tourists uh, as part of our promotion on this industry in Cuba. Uh, for example, last year we have been able to receive in 2018 four million point seven tourists on the on the tourist industry in Cuba, which is right now has more than 60,000, 67,000 beds in Cuba in more than 468 hotels in Cuba. This is an, uh, one of our, our main uh, sectors in the economy in Cuba and, and this industry is, is, has been able to grow every year around 7-8% on, 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 on the tourist uh, uh, accommodation in Cuba. But uh, this is an, a huge number if, if you compare uh, the annual growth of the tourist industry, in, uh, especially in Latin America, which, which is, uh, have been able to only grow three, four percent per year, but Cuba has been growing more than that, and and especially uh, after the, um, the establish of the diplomatic relation with the United States, and the visit of Obama to Cuba in 2016-15, um, but tourists uh, from United States, even though they have been forbidden to go to Cuba. Um, uh, by law, they have been able to uh, achieve that and, and to go to Cuba every year and grow into and, 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 and be part of, the, uh, of that industry in Cuba. Yes, you have been talking about the, some of the places that are more famous in Cuba, as a Baradero or Pico Turquino or, 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 or other places like Rio Cauto, for example, in Santiago de Cuba. But we have plenty of places to go and to see the history of Cuba, and to see uh, how the Cuban live, and, 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 and to see the nature uh, of, the, of the Cuban territory, which is beautiful. And Cuba is also surrounded by, for um, 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 uh, more than 3,000 small islands, and, and, and plenty of, of, of more than 600 kilometers of, of white beaches in Cuba. So um, saying that, you, 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 you can choose any place in Cuba to go and to enjoy it, our people, our culture, our nature, okay? Thank you. Uh, the other question is about the National Day in Cuba, the, uh, January the 1st. Um, that's the day that we commemorate as a, our National Day because it was the day when the revolution triumphed in Santiago de Cuba, January the 1st, 1959 and who, um, was our liberation from the uh, neo-colonialism from the United States. And, and um, they have become uh, on, the, on the point when um, the self-determination of our people become reality and, and, uh, and, and the joy of, of, of rule our destiny uh, uh, thanks to the revolution and thanks to our commander-in-chief uh, Fidel Castro Ruz that day we are celebrating every year. This year is a special one because this year we achieved the 60 years of the, of the revolution uh, with uh, uh, many, many, many suicides in, 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 in the life of our people. And uh, usually it's a very important day in Cuba uh, because of that. Thank you. Thank you very much.